Like, what's going on? Monday morning. Y'all know the script. We out here finna, finna go get wifey some Burger King. She want a Whopper. Cheese. No tomatoes. Extra mayonnaise. Early in the morning. It's crazy, man. But I can't complain. Have y'all ever been just... <clears throat> just wake up and don't have no complaints about nothing? I really don't have no complaints about nothing. Had a good week. Last week, end of the week, whatever. I got steady clientele. Uh... Work is getting done. My planner that I bought, it does good. Because I'm like the most unorganized but organized person ever. My shop is all shit everywhere. I got shit everywhere because I do so much different projects at once. But I know where everything is at. So, after I bought my planner, I'm able to organize my money more. And where do I spend money and shit like that? Because I just, I got account set for every deposit. So every time somebody give a deposit, I know what account that come out of. And I just swipe, swipe with the card for they, for they items. So I got a little more organized now. Uh, but yeah, I really don't have no complaints about anything. I ain't gonna speak too soon. It always takes one asshole to mess up the whole damn thing. But everything's going pretty good. I'm gonna try to get a lot of stuff done this week. Uh, we actually have a class to go to today for uh, uh, heat press, vinyl cutting, and um, t shirt manufacturing, whatever. Because I'm launching my own t shirt company. Well, my girl helping her launch her one. I bought all the equipment already, so we just gotta learn how to use it in a more efficient way than trial and error. Because I am not gonna keep buying stuff and we mess it up. So I'm gonna go about it the little school way. Well, it's not really a school, it's a class. Probably one class gotta take. That's it. So uh, I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna sit in on that one so I can learn. Because every time I have an idea, I need to take my stuff straight to production. I'm not trying to wait. I'm not trying to call nobody else. I'm not trying to send my ideas out, send no files through the email. I'm not doing none of that. I'm going straight from inspiration to the computer, to the screen, to production. One day, that's what I'm doing. And then see where it go from there. You know, no time for wait. I like to get right to action. But um, on my way to the shop. After I go get this food, and I'm, uh, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do today. You just have to see. So let's stay tuned. Like and subscribe this channel if y'all want to see the real car builder, interior builder, live action every day. Like and subscribe this channel. It takes one second. Just click the button, and you see what it do. So well, you see how I do it. No cut, no shake, straight raw. Deluxe. Ah. Breaking news, breaking news, y'all. So, I just acquired the whole building, the whole lot. So, you know where I, my shop is at. I'm pretty sure you've seen it on the videos. So, I was sharing the lot with another guy who moved out a while back. So, landlord just called me and said I can get the whole lot so I got control of the whole lot fenced in everything I got both buildings now so I'll probably be doing a light remodel on the inside of the other building just to brighten it up and everything I'm not make, trying to make it look all super clean make believe ass shit because I do work so it's gonna be dirty but I just got more room to do what I need to do so so I'm about to turn up real real, real good so Y'all out there, y'all trying to get in, y'all better get in, because I'll be filling up fast. Y'all, we at the shop. I'm about to go in on this green car, try to get these door panels and shit mocked up. But uh, the problem we have here is ugly ass, non-conformation door panels don't fit whatsoever, so I can't even make a template off them. 
So what I have to do is I have to cover this door panel in plastic and draw the shape out with uh on a mark with a marker and then cut it out. So I'm about to take this plastic, make me a door panel for this car. So that's the way I'm gonna do it. I don't know how other people do it, but that's what I'm gonna do because I need to get this door panel right the first time and I'm not gonna be fucking around. So I'm gonna do it that way. Okay, what I did was I covered it with a plastic and then I put blue tape around the perimeter to make it kind of stiff like so it won't rip. So then I'm gonna take a marker and I'm gonna trace around the edge. Then I'm gonna trim it and then I'm gonna peel it off and I'm gonna put it on top of a uh, piece of wood. Then I'm gonna trace the template and I'm gonna cut that bitch out. So we'll see if it works. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. I'm on freestyling right now. So we gonna see. So after peeling it off, this is what we have. Now of course I'm gonna cut it a little bit bigger than this and I can do my final cuts to make it exact fit but this is 98% the shape right here the tape doesn't stretch so all I have to do is smooth it and trace it so I'm gonna make my template off of this and then I'm gonna flip it over and make the same one for the other side deluxe style okay now we have the original door panel right here as you can see straight bullshit and then we have the one I made perfect cut holes perfect rounded edges the whole contour is there straight edge along the top straight edge along the bottom none of that wavy shit and it fits okay now you see it fits on the door perfect. I'm trying to hold it with one hand, but the straight edge along the top like it's supposed to be. But that right there, that hole, somebody drilled that hole in there too high. So I don't know if my stuff going to cover that up, but I try to make something that dip up to the top right there or something. I don't know. But it's the straight edge. It's good on the edges. Put the mark right there so you it, it's where it's supposed to be at. It's good all the way around to the other edge. It's hard to hold it with one hand, but as you can see. And then you push this back, and that fits right in there like that. So the holes are in the center, pretty much. So now it's time to draw my design on this one. I already cut the other one. So design my design on this one, and then it's duplicated for the other side, and we have two door panels. Deluxe 101, free game. Public service announcement, public service announcement. When you guys go buy wood, buy a sheet, and get it cut up into four pieces, two by four, two feet by four feet. <clears throat> and I'm gonna tell you what you can do. You see this? That little ass corner right there, and that little ass corner right there, that's damaged wood. Buy it. That little ass corner right there, damaged, buy it. So off, I got all these pieces. This is a uh, four feet by eight foot sheet, six dollars. Any kind of scratch or dip in the wood is damaged. They have to sell it to you for seventy five percent off. So when you go to Home Depot, look for the ones that scratched up. Any kind of scratch or dent in the wood, they have to sell it for seventy five percent off. Free game, y'all. Free game. Big Mike. <laughs> So I had to call it for reinforcements because this shit in this car was kicking my ass. So we just got the the radio that was mounted under the dash. You see it. And y'all see exactly what people be doing. So we got the look at the wiring. What the hell is this wire right here? Why is it going into the engine compartment to the firewall? What is that going to? The turbo booster? So when he play a uh, little boost, he go faster. <laughs> Damn, this nigga got all this shit. I don't even know what that wire go to right here. This blue wire go right here to the flux capacitor. Uh, this go to the combobulator. This go to the oscillator tribuline. And all that other shit. But uh, 
you know what I'm about to do. I'm about to get my pliers. My trusty but trusty. And I'm about to cut every motherfucking thing. Right here. I'm cutting everything. I don't need none of this shit. I'm making my own wires, my own fuse box, all that shit. So all this shit got to go. So cut it. And got to go. No, I can't do this in one hand. So, of course, I can't show y'all. But I can show y'all one more wire cut. Let me get back to y'all immediately. Well, everything is cut out of here. I'm about to get a new lock for the glove box because that one is broke. So, I'm going to get that out of there. And um, we're going to do something else. Run these wires. Take all clean this dad, all this shit up, man. It's just, look at that. So, it's a lot of things we got to do. This one is a no expense barred car, so we going in on this one, y'all. So, I start drawing some stuff on the seats. Sneak peek, you can't see it, but you see it. So, I gotta go take a class, y'all. I'm gonna do a class, start up my new business today, so I gotta go. Short video today, so I'm heading out. I might be back tonight. So, see y'all later. I'll So, back from class, I'm in the lab with the door panel. And I'm going to completely freestyle this door panel while y'all watch. So check this out. I got a scrap piece of wood that I cut off the door panel. I'm using for my straight edge. And you see I started drawing my line. So I'm trying to get that line like that. So then I got this old kick panel. I'm about to use this kick panel right here and get that curve right there. Right there. And then I'm going to do some other shit. I can't show y'all my whole technique. But you know I'm the scrap master. They call me Scrap Master D. I'm about to get it in, y'all. So watch and learn. All right, I start drawing. I use my straight edge to come right here to make that. I use this piece of wood I found to make this curve right there. <laughs> I use this old kick pedal right here to, to make a motherfucking curve right there. And then make a the curve right here. Make a curve. Yeah, I'm going in on this, y'all. So watch me bring this bitch to life. You know what I do, the Freestyle King, watch me. And you can see the price, $2.78. Get at me, y'all, get at me, y'all want this work. All right, so now I got the door panel, pieces mocked up, routed the edge. So this bottom half right here be carpet. This will be the insert right here that matches the seat. This is a separate piece. I don't know what I'm going to do there. I might put some shit in there. We'll light it up. Or I might put the light up spot right here. But right here, on that car, I got plenty of room for speakers right there. So I'm going to make a built-in speaker grill inside of this part right here. So I'm about to freestyle and come up with a design for that. I don't know what the hell kind of design I'm going to make. But I'm going to draw some lines on that bitch and cut that bitch out. And then I'm going to make this same copy for the other side. And the door panel will be done. Alright, y'all. All right, y'all, here we go. The carpet goes right there. The insert goes right there. I got a cutout for a six and a half and maybe a super tweeter that'll fit in that whole spot right there. I'm going to mount that to the door, though, because the door panel is going to be a separate entity, not mounted to the door. The speaker's not mounted to the door panel, I mean. The speakers are going to be mounted in the door, so you can take the door panel off, and the speaker will still be attached to the car. Okay. Uh, got the... Uh, I think that's the window crank hole, and that's the spot for the uh, to open the door. So that's fine. Uh, I might cut something in there right there and put Skylark in there, something with the logo. And I might light some shit up in there, just some decorative lightning, nothing, no words, nothing like that. But that's what it's gonna look like. I don't know. I'm freestyling. I might throw this shit away and start all over. I don't know. But this is what I came up. In 15, 20 minutes. Y'all see me. This is how I work. Freestyle, I get inspiration. I jump around. Now I'm about to go fuck with the low rider, y'all. So this is all I'm doing on this one. I got the console built. I got one side of the console built already. Let me show y'all. I don't be fucking around. Let me show you. Let me show you. Hold on. You see that? You see that? That's one side of the console. Already built. Look. I'm going to show y'all. I, I don't fuck around. Look at that. You see it? 
design the console. So once I get all my curves and lines and cutouts ready to go, I can put that console together in about 20 minutes. So I got the seats in the car, well mocked up in the car. I got the console one side done, so you mean the other you know the other side is exactly the same. So then I start putting the sides on the beauty stuff and the, the trim panels and the, the holes for the speakers and the spot for the radio and all that. So that's easy. Door panels one is done. All I gotta do is copy this, make door panel two, and then the rest is history. I'm waiting on the green material to get here. I ordered that shit last week, so it's gonna be here sometime this week. And the carpet and everything else. So everything for that car is situated. Now, tomorrow, we are going to show you this low rider. Now, this is what everybody's been waiting on. People been asking about the damn low rider. Low rider's been in the lab. I gotta get everything designed for that low rider because it has 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15 different colors. <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta get in my Lambamba mode. So I might come to the shop tomorrow with a fucking sombrero on. So tomorrow we're working on the low rider. But I'm about to get up out of here. I'm tired. My brain hurt. I holla. <laughs>